We would seem like you got some different looks from, from LSU tonight. I mean, kind of what were they doing and why were they successful getting pressure? They're just mixing up a little bit. I think it's a credit to their coach at South Oklahoma. They did a really good job of you know, showing one thing pre-snap and kind of doing something completely different post-snap. And, um, you know, they moved a lot with their front seven or whatever. But, uh, you know, you just have to do a better job. Uh, it starts with me. So. Coach, you mentioned inconsistencies, and with such a veteran group, I mean, how frustrating is it that y'all have those inconsistencies uh, in a game like this? I mean, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Um, yeah, it just sucks. As Jeff, a quarterback, how do you handle those drops? Like when, when your guys, guys that you trust, when they have those drops, what, what's your message to them? Uh, I mean, play the next play. You know, it's kind of it sounds so simple and so easy to say, but I mean. The odds are I'm going to throw the ball over to you again, so, you know, be ready. Jed, Coach, you kind of mentioned you felt there was fatigue on both sides as the game progressed. For you guys defensively, how much of that do you think may have been a result of, you know, them starting to run a bit more up-tempo, you know, as the game progressed? Uh, I mean, obviously, the more up-tempo uh, they go, you know, the more fatigue you get. But, you know, we train so hard, and, you know, fatigue is, is, is nothing crazy. We have, we're so, you know, uh, deep. We can rotate in and out and so fatigue. That's not really any excuse we have to make or anything. So what was it like? I mean, when things broke down and Daniels just take off and go, I mean, how, how stressful is that on the defense when you got a guy that kind of speed out there just kind of creating on his own? Yeah, no, he can scoot for sure, and he, he's a slippery guy. Uh, he did a good job uh, tonight, you know, credit to him. Uh, you know, we got to tackle better, contain better, and just uh, do our job and play the time. You know, going for it four times in the fourth down, whether it worked or not, how much does that show the confidence the coach has in you now just to make plays happen? I, mean, I guess you could say it shows confidence, but at the end of the day, you know, you just have to execute. Uh, I know the first two, in the first half, I think, you know, I, I know that uh, we have run on, and I don't know, probably need, probably need to get us in a better play and a better look. Um, yeah, no, I, I love the call, and I love the confidence from coach, you know, we just have to execute better. Well, between the, uh, the the muff punt and the three fourth and shorts, I'm sure y'all want back. Do you feel like you guys kind of gave this one away up 13 nothing? I'd say good. gave it away. I mean, I think they did a really good job. They had a really good plan. Um, but yeah, I think we just kind of wore down. And um, yeah, you know, that's not how that's not how you want to play ball in the fourth quarter. You know, you want you want it to be a, a close game, and you know you can't do that when you hold on to the ball and take sacks, and um, you know you got to catch the ball. Jeff, kind of the, the same for you. What was kind of like the frustration level in the, in the locker room on the field after after this one tonight? Um, I guess it's a little, it's human nature to get frustrated, but we got a veteran group over there that's played a lot of football, and so uh, you know we try to keep our composure, pick everybody up, and just uh, you know handle our business. And uh, you know, so I think that's the biggest thing. Did well, you guys say anything to Austin? Or did he say anything to you after? The oh yeah, yeah, we, you know, pick up, pick him up. You know, the next he, play. Yeah, he's been so consistent throughout these. Uh, 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you guys led you know, after three quarters. I mean, you just kind of needed to close it out. In the, in the fourth quarter, it seemed like LSU found some success running the football. Do you, do you think it was an issue of you guys kind of wearing down a little bit, or you know, was there an emotional maybe debt to pay there for as long as you played the three quarters? How would you describe it? Uh, you said the, the rushing attack at the end? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's really there's no excuse. We pride ourselves, you know, being, being dominant up front and, uh, you know, just. It just comes down to do your 111 and just, you know, do your job and, and, and let the rest take care, care of itself and just be a more physical football team and, and you got to get better at that for sure. Well, I guess just how frustrating was it for you guys offensively at the start? You know, the defense was giving you guys a lot of opportunities there and kind of seemed like you guys couldn't really build much momentum. I guess just how tough is that when, you know, that phase is, is picking you guys up and you guys, you know, weren't able to get capitalized with touchdowns? Yeah, I mean, it's extremely frustrating. Uh, like you said, especially when the defense does a great job of giving you the ball or getting a turnover or something like that. Um, it's, it's extremely critical that we put drives together. And even if you don't score on the drive, you need to like move the ball and get a couple first downs, you know, because the defense needs to get over there and, you know, kind of decompress a little bit. You know, we three and outs, that can't happen with us. Um, so yeah, it starts with me. I have to do a better job next week and uh, we got to get better. When the clock ran out, you know, I saw you walking down the bench, and I think the entirety of the offense, you went and spoke to each guy, and it seemed like you had a good message for them, and kind of keep your head up kind of thing. Just kind of, what, what was kind of your message there? 
I told him this is just on me, you know. I think this loss is, um, I don't think you can really put on anybody else except me. I have to do a better job, um, you know, getting the ball out of my hands um, and then just hitting guys and um, getting us in the right play. Um, so, yeah, I just told him, come, come ready to work this week. We got a big one. You mentioned putting the blame on yourself. I mean, when Coach Leach was in here, he put a lot of the blame on himself. I guess just how much accountability do you see, you know, with this coaching staff when, when you guys are in a locker room? I guess either of you, when you have a loss like this, that you know they pin it on themselves too. Yeah, I mean, I think Coach does a good job of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Coach does a pretty good job of that. But I think he's also, um, you know, good about teaching and learning from the mistakes we made. Um, so I think Coach will do a pretty good job and. I'm sure Coach Arnett will too. I think Coach Arnett does a really, really good job of getting these guys motivated. So, um, in terms of like putting blame on themselves, I mean, I think they do a good job of taking ownership. But, uh, I mean, they're not out there playing. I think we are. It's on us. So. Yeah. Jed, obviously a, a bigger role today for Deshaun. We saw him out there quite a bit. I guess is 